I don't know why that happened. Nothing was clicked. Nothing was pressed. I do not know, but we're going to pick right back up. Part two and part one, I will put them in the comment section of each other so you can find, if you missed the first half, you can watch the first half. This is part two, okay? So sometimes you find these runner and chaser dynamics here. And it's not because somebody just wants to run away from you, right? It's because you are showing them something inside of themselves that they are not ready to face, okay? So you'll have a lot of times these relationships where two people really complete each other. It's like something that you've never felt before. It is out of this world. And you'll have one person who runs away from it. And you think, well, they're stupid, right? Well, they're not really, some of them have never experienced real love. And that's frightening in itself that, wow, this is something that can feel so good. So things that feel so good, like I'm just speaking from this person's perspective, things that feel so good to me always get ruined. Things that feel so good to me always get taken away. I mean, it really could be things that feel good to me. People that feel good to me always die or abandon me. And so that's where that kind of trauma comes from. And what do they do? They run away from it. If I run away from this thing that feels so good, well, guess what? It can't run away from me. But what's the logic in that? You know what I'm saying? And then you're taking away something from you, self-sabotaging. I'm just speaking from that perspective of the runner. If I leave first, if I abandon it first, then it can't abandon me. And then I don't have to feel that pain of abandonment. But now they're standing in the corner by themselves. I don't feel the pain of abandonment, but I do feel the pain of not having my soulmate. You know, so that's why when you when you're experiencing real love, when you go into a situation with real love, in order to reap the benefits of real love, you have to be vulnerable. There is no ifs, ands, buts about it. If you want to reap the reward, you have to put in the work. You have to sow the seed. So you have to heal. You have to do what you need to do to be able to pour into that other person because you can't just take and run. This situation here, it looks like Somebody got afraid of something that was beautiful, okay? With the star card, I don't think this is y'all's karmic per se because the star's card, the star card is here. So it's saying that this relationship, how they view this relationship, healing, healing to them, okay? Everything that they needed, okay? Everything that they wanted, everything they desired, everything that they deserved, a soulmate connection, but they ran away from it to go to a queen of wands in reverse, Okay, queen of wands in reverse, somebody who doesn't love themselves. Okay, somebody who is not loyal, someone who is purely focused on passion, okay, and not creation. So that means that they just are passionate with multiple people, but never staying along, step, never staying long enough to create and move forward and do anything. And you have a lot of these queen of wands in reverses who their whole job is to convince a person that they are the right one. Pick me. That's where we get that from. Pick me, pick me, pick me. I can pretend to be everything that you need until I get you and to leave that other person. And then it's, this is just who I am. You know what I'm saying? That's that, but they put a lot of effort and passion to getting this broken person, the runner to feel comfortable with them. So they will run away from a divine connection, a divine partnership. Okay, we got love call, coffin, and not enough. Well, that was a that was very detailed, huh? All right, so let's see here what's going on. I explained a lot of but we'll still pull some tarot here and see what is the situation here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Spirit, spirit, those please all me. The clear message here for the Aries. What is going on here for Aries? So Spirit wanted to know this was about a relationship. So you're faced with a decision for whatever reason here, Aries. This is what's coming for you. What's the challenge? The page of swords here. Sometimes it's not holding the, sometimes it's not knowing the whole truth in a situation here. That's what I'm hearing. Could be somebody's immaturity of how they communicate, um, needing to still find out more information. Again, that's the same thing as what I said. What's advice from spirit? The Ten of Cups, okay? So this is a spiritual connection, overall happiness, um, a wish fulfillment here, happy home. Um, and then we got the Tower. Okay, Tower is the outcome or what's coming in the near future. 
What y'all doing down here? All right, what do we have here for Aries? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rhymes are part of for Aries. Let's take a look at this. Tell us about the Two of Wands. Oh, you got the King of Wands here and the Two of Wands. A lot of passion here. Tell, they're saying, take one more. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Of the Three of Cups. Somebody here has a decision to reconcile. Or to come back together. King One's not necessarily bad. It's not a bad card. It's just somebody who's left with a lot of passion. Likes to take charge here. I'm hearing overindulgent, though. I mean, the King of Wands isn't usually, it's not that, but that's what I'm hearing. Um, well, that makes sense. I'm seeing the card indulgence, self-indulgence. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense why I heard that. All right. Let's see here the challenge. We have the Four of Swords here clarifying the Page of Swords is the challenge. I need y'all to move. Okay, make my nerves bad. Go ahead, please. They just want to be underneath my feet right now. <laughs> um, page of Swords and the Four of Swords. Let's get one more. The Death card. Scorpionic energy. An ending. Okay, so someone is having a difficult time from healing. Uh, somebody's having a difficult time healing from a situation because they don't feel like they got all the information from the situation. So they constantly contemplate, speculate about what happened. They feel like they didn't get enough information. And so even if they wanted to restart something with this person, they're feeling like there's no real closure to one situation because they didn't get enough information. But there's someone here who's wanting to reconcile, to come back together, to come with you. Um, what's the advice from Spirit? The star, there's the Ten of Cups here and the star. There is a beautiful connection here. Now, I don't know if it's with this person, but there's a beautiful healing relationship here on the table for you, Aries. Okay, overall happiness here. Tell me about the tower here and the outcome in the future. We got the Knight of Swords, but there's information or somebody here could be coming towards you with a lot of information to have some shock. It's shocking information. Okay. That's what they're saying. It's shocking information here coming in with the tower card. It is shocking. Okay. I just keep hearing that. Tell me about the tower and the knight of swords, which the knight of swords is, I mean, the tower is Aries and Scorpio energy too. The 10 of pentacles and the six of pentacles in reverse. Scandalous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, tell us about the, the Ten of Cups and uh, a Star Card. Where was that from? Scandalous. Um, <laughs> mm, yeah, this is over. Let me tell you why this is over, Aries. No, let's clarify the outcome. Let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Justice. So clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, but we can't have the whole conversation. Sometimes it just shocks me how good I am. Okay. Um, it just shocks me. I just knew that card was coming. Okay. The justice. Ooh. The justice. Nasty work. I don't know who did this to somebody. Well, we got the Justice, the Empress, and the Ten of Pentacles. Let me sip my coffee because this is just, this is like tea right now. I feel like I'm watching a soap opera. I don't know whose situation this is. I'm sorry, but I feel like I'm watching a soap opera unfold through these cards. Okay. 
It's going to be very specific. So just sit down, buckle up. All right. Somebody is going to be faced with a decision here to get back with someone. Okay. It's going to be presented for you to get back with somebody very passionate. They're realizing that you were it, it, the love of their life, their soulmate, you healed them. They ran from your healing energy and they ran into the arms of a Jezebel. They ran into the arms of someone here who was for the streets. Okay. Look that up on urban dictionary. They ran into somebody's arms who was for the streets. Okay. You contemplating about getting back to this person because a soulmate, what that is a, that is a mutual thing. If somebody feels like they're your soulmate, that is a mutual thing. You both felt it. They ran from you. It hurt you. Um, the thing is, the challenge here is that when it ended, you didn't feel like you got all of the information and you didn't. Okay. You did not get all of the information because what spirit is saying here is that Aries with the world card, the star card and the 10 of cups, as beautiful as this situation is, you know, and as much and divinely like you did meet your soulmate, we're going to send you another soulmate. There's more than one soulmates in this world, in this universe. We're going to send you another one. We're just going to want you to go ahead and just release that relationship. And you're like, spirit, but why? I love this person. You know, you know, we finally have a chance. They've healed. They've grown. You know, there's, they, they get it now. Why do you want me to release this person? And they're like, you know why? Because there's something you don't know. There's something that you didn't see. And that's why we are spirit guides because we see everything. So we're just going to, we want you to trust. We want you to trust us on this Aries that you need to trust us that you just need to go ahead and let this go. And you still like, but spirit, no, I love this person. And they're like, okay, well, let's show you. Boom. Okay. The tower comes in really quickly. Now you got somebody coming in with a whole bunch of information. And this information is that the person that was your soulmate, they're going to hold another family somewhere. Okay. They got another family. Now this family may have started during your break or separation. Okay. I'm talking kids. I'm talking about they got obligations, they got child support now, and they're stuck in a situation that they really never wanted to be in because mind you, they ran from you to just for to something that was not real, right? To escape the healing journey with you. They ran to you, ran from you, and they got a true karmic here, uh, pregnant with the justice here and the empress. And so now they're very much invested in another situation, whether they love the person or not, they're very much financially invested in something here. And that is going to hit somebody. Maybe it already has hit you, but it's going to hit somebody like a ton of bricks. Okay. Four of cups. See, this is how they're feeling about it. <laughs> really discontent. Okay. Really discontent about the situation. Um, it's, protection. It's protection. Okay. Even though you two were soulmates, even though spirit put you guys in alignment to meet each other, to heal through each other. The fact of the matter is that there was somebody who did not respect that relationship. Okay. And so spirit always sees what's done in the dark, which you don't see. Okay. And that's why we always say rejection is God's protection. Okay. When they rejected you at that moment, it's okay if like, you know, it's okay if like you break up and you do whatever. But if there was some, for some of you, I feel like there may have been some intention that you were getting back together. But even if you, there was no intention of you getting back together. Okay. Let's just say there was no intention of y'all getting back together. But then this person realized they had an epiphany that Aries is my person. When they came back to you to get back with you, they withheld information. Okay. See, spirit is always watching. Okay. We're going to give you another opportunity with Aries, but are you going to come correct? They chose not to come correct. Everybody has a free will. Everybody has choice. Every day you wake up, you have a choice, a decision to make. And this person, the two of wands here had a choice. They had a decision and they chose to do what fulfilled their own selfish desires. Some of you, some of you, they still play house with this person. They may not live together, but they may still play house with this person with the three of cups here or just chose to keep the connection. It could even be an emotional connection now at this point when there's children involved. Um, but they chose not to come forward and divulge all of the information that they needed to give you. Therefore, spirit said no. Okay. When spirit says no, it is no. 
And look, Spirit's like, look, baby, I know you love them, but we're going to bring you something that's going to be quite healing and, and what you need and what you deserve, okay? It's just not going to be this. We want you to make the smart decision here and just walk away from this, all right? Because with the world card, that means even though this is ending, there is something better coming, okay? Um, But I think that what really happened, see, there's a soulmate con connection coming here with Six of Cups. But I think what really happened here is that with this golden mirror energy is that somebody, this person wanted you back so bad. They were willing to lie to get you back. That was the problem. That's where this narcissist energy comes in one side. That's where they, they loved you. So you want to call it love because it's just really selfish intent, but they wanted you back so bad. They realized that you were the person that they were supposed to be with. They were willing to lie to get you back. They were willing, willing to lie and put you in a situation unknowingly. Okay. And that's where the problem came. All right. So that, that was a lot for all of us. Let's, let's decompress. <laughs> that was a lot. When I started seeing that 10 of Pentacles and that six of Pentacles in reverse, I already knew it was coming. And then the Empress came out and I knew it. So, yeah. So that's what I have for you guys. Take a hot shower, a bubble bath. I don't know who's reading this is, but this was a lot, especially if some of you have not found this out yet. Some of you are going to say, I know, I knew it. Some of you are just taking this information in for the first time and I just threw a baby on you. So that's a lot. All right. So I love you guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you later.